Hey, this is Jerry with Trade the Fifth. Uh, just doing a quick video on a black box breakout trade today in Shopify. It's been a pretty bullish stock. Um, I do want to point out something: the multiple time frame dot cloud that we have down here below. Uh, the bottom low row that I've got is the anchor trend is 30 minutes. But here's a little trick uh, for some that I use myself uh, once in a while to get a sense of where the daily trend is. Right now, you can turn on or off row two. Row two is not used in any of the calculations of these uh, squares and triangles up here. So the way the squares and triangles work is it's sort of a trade confirmation that all the time frames are in alignment. And if you have three rows at the top that match each other and match the bottom row, which is the anchor trend, in this case 30 minutes, this will paint as a triangle. And if the top four rows match, that means these four time frames are in alignment, prices above their clouds and above the anchor trend, which is the bottom. However, since row two is not used, sometimes what I do is I turn on row two and I set it to a daily time frame, even though I'm trading intraday on a day, you know, an intraday time frame. So on an intraday time frame, my anchor trend may be 30 minutes, but I do like to keep an idea on where the daily cloud is and whether or not we're inside or outside of the cloud. It just gives me more, um, you know, additional confirmation sometimes on a trade. And you can see that on the day time frame, this uh, has gone green, which means price is also above the daily time frame, uh, which gives me even more confidence. So you can see a couple of uh, trades here that came up. Uh, this morning we had the bullish move in Shopify. It did pull back to the cloud. Um, that uh, shows me a signal with a stop inside uh, the cloud, which I like. I like trading pullbacks, and that's really what this indicator has been. Version four has been designed to do is uh, show you, you know, the the trade entries uh, that we're doing are going to be related to the cloud, and pullbacks are entries that are close to the cloud where the stop is. In any event, uh, this one here had a signal that ended up tr uh, triggering. It did not quite uh, make the stop. It was probably within a penny of it here, but it did trigger here. We got a second uh, signal here, much tighter, uh, on a three-minute chart. And you can see that we got the signal, and within the next three-minute candle, it triggered. And it went a ways before it started making its move uh, coming out of lunchtime. And it's you know this dotted line or this uh, dashed cyan line is actually the 200 percent move uh, this trade is up over uh, probably to maybe 400 uh, percent on that move so far so that's a pretty solid black box breakout trade um, I personally was already in options in Shopify so I did not add in to this uh, trade but it's certainly one that I've been watching and uh, you know honestly I wish I would have gotten in a second add-in maybe on this one I was just doing some other things but it is a uh, testament to the operation of the black box breakout indicator on a really nice solid Shopify trade today on a stock that's uh, you know in a pretty bullish uptrend as exemplified by the daily and the 30 minute and all the time frames below it hope that helps take care guys